Peggy 16. safer harbor in a storm. Close the door, and deep within, you know it's gonna be okay. Cause there are sails on the horizon, a ship to take you far away. Where good things grow, new worlds await. Where dreams take shape, we are the architects of fate. She has ambition. He has a vision. But no matter what's your mission, once you lay that first foundation, nothing's out of reach. Rising up from the ashes of industry, following in the footsteps of pioneers, Ours is a tale of humanity, of great inventions, endless exploration. Of centuries that mark the rise of nations, setting out to build great cities that will truly be our own, knowing that in this adventure, all roads lead to home.
are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building in search of adventure. So take your first steps into Colossal Cave. The lantern is now lit. Explore the vast darkness of the mythical Colossal Cave. But be aware of the many obstacles that stand in your way. Zizzy, you feel a strange pulling sensation. Black Rod. Discover the valuable treasures held within. And brave, perilous encounters that threaten to end your quest quickly and without mercy. many locations to traverse, secrets to find, and miles of caverns to explore. You'll never know just what your own adventure inside Colossal Cave will bring. Colossal Cave. Reimagined by Roberta Williams. The only way out is in. Buy now wherever games are sold. The British forces. Flexible. Well-rounded. Resilient. They can count on their tenacious soldiers, their indomitable resolve, and their Commonwealth allies to fight through any combat scenario. The British forces' adaptable units and artillery support make them flexible and efficient. They can shrug off assaults by entrenching weapons before striking with a mix of vehicles and battle-hardened infantry. Stubborn and resilient, the British can bring the fight to the enemy or let them take a shot Hunker down and keep on fighting as long as it takes to come out on top. Hi, it's just me, Ames. Chalk one up for Team Living. <laughs> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Danny, how's she gotten? Zombie ass kicking services at competitive prices. Needs must when the devil drives.
the Zephyr. Blast off from Earth to Mars on the Zephyr shuttle, experiencing a full launch sequence, zero G and an intense crash landing on the red planet. Just look at this place. We always thought we were the last ones left. Welcome to Neptune, Lightbearer. I hope we can find common ground, or at least common enemies. Callus is ready to annihilate this city. Stand with me to defend the Amuna and its people. have to fight dirty to get to the top.
Which one do you prefer? <gasps> The goal for gameplay in EA Sports PGA Tour is to provide all the tools you need to realistically attack every hold on every course the same way the pros do. To achieve this, we're introducing Pure Strike, accompanied by a set of 20 shot types. Powered by official shot link and trackman data, Pure Strike incorporates the three parts of every golf shot, fluid swing mechanics, innovative ball behavior, and lifelike course dynamics. Every golf shot starts with a swing and no two golf swings are alike. So we captured stances for every pro golfer in the game. Then we mapped their attributes to a variety of stats from shot link and trackman data. This means you won't see Scotty Scheffler's drives flying off the tee at the same trajectory as Jordan Spieth's, for example. Once you address the ball, you'll see a swing meter that will serve as a gauge for your backswing using the left or right analog stick, depending on your preference. We designed it so you can focus on the animation itself in order to execute the swing. The length of your backswing and the speed of your follow through both factor into the power and accuracy of your shot and you'll receive on-screen feedback after every swing. The swing mechanic is highly accurate to your controller input with scalable forgiveness, so you can focus more on the actual strategy of each shot. There are 20 total shot types at your disposal in EA Sports PGA Tour. Each shot type produces different ball behavior, each is used in different situations, and each utilizes different club types. With plenty of ways to modify shot types, there are over 1,300 shot variations in the game. Some of the more basic shot types, like punch, pitch and blast, you'll use frequently throughout your rounds. Others, like stinger, high flop, hack and Texas wedge, to name a few, can be used in more strategic ways. So, it's important to choose the right tool for the job. New ball behaviour has been redesigned from the ground up. New technology allows every bounce and roll to behave more accurately across a greater variety of terrain and course conditions. As the ball travels, you'll receive on-screen feedback about various aspects of the ball's flight milestones. Once your shot lands, new ball behaviour enables more realistic interactions between the ball and the ground, like you'd see on a real golf course. You'll see the golf ball bounce, dribble and roll as it travels across different terrains and cuts of grass. Naturally, a fairway will cause more dribbling than a green surface. And as part of the new course dynamics, you'll notice that a course like Augusta National has smoother fairways than other courses. When you're putting, the goal is to backswing to the perfect point, which dynamically updates as you adjust your aim on the green. Under and over swings are possible when you're putting, and tempo matters too. Line up your putt, adjust for elevation, and sink it. To help new golfers with putting, we've added an assistant aim option that you can toggle on or off. Finally, we're bringing back some gameplay mechanics from previous titles like Power Boost, Spin Control, Big Hit and Heartbeat Moments, so you can hit a perfectly timed drive, button mash to adjust spin and feel the suspense of a great shot inching towards the cup in slow motion. We set out to build the premier golf gameplay experience and with the introduction of Pure Strike and other great gameplay features, we're just getting started.
up, kids. Party time. Stay in formation. Smells bad in here. And it's gonna get worse. Got movement. Shh, quietly. Me? Quiet? Don't worry. Quiet time never lasts long. <sighs> Have a look, see you, little buddy. Here now, then. Oh, yeah, rock and roll. I may take a couple of tries. Well, see you at the saloon. the rings. Gather together all twelve rings. No! Please! They're corrupted. They're everywhere. Divine One, you mustn't do this alone! This journey will be a long one. Our kingdom is in danger. Will you help us? I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I'm Diamond, Crown Prince of Brody. Hope you're hungry for fun! I will now take your lives. My friends, it's time to fight! You're in our way. Now stand aside! We have to rescue more from the others! Many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Here he comes. The time has come! Arth! What is that an emblem of legend? Each emblem has their own abilities. You can call upon their unique powers and skills. Everyone, engage with emblems! Emblem, engage! Here I come! Grant me strength! Out of the way! I sense the Fell Dragon's presence. He's waiting for us. We have to stop Sombron. Was that me? <gasps>
Take this. Find them. Legacy begins now. Hogwarts Legacy. Live the unwritten. When the prospect of working on a Jagged Alliance game came up, uh, first I was a little skeptical because of some of the games that were produced quickly just to try to make some money off the IP. But when THQ approached me and said, no, we want to make the spiritual successor to Jagged Alliance 2, they got my attention. I was, I was excited. Uh, having Ian on the team is uh, quite amazing. He joined us uh, originally as a writer, but he's also the father figure for the Jagged Alliance series. Uh, both Jagged Alliance 1 and Jagged Alliance 2 are his babies and just even having the opportunity to meet him and now to work with him is quite uh, exciting. So I got started in video games in the late 80s when PCs became available to everybody and people started making games with graphics. And as soon as I saw graphics, I got hooked. And I started off just playing games and eventually I got kind of fussy about the games and said, I, I think it should work this way or, or why isn't someone making a game like this? Anyone want a chocolate covered cashew? Hello there. So for me, a true Jagged Alliance product has got to have the, the following elements. It's got to have a strategy layer where the player is making decisions on a grand scale. Two, it's got to have solid tactical gameplay. Three, it's got to have all the characters, uh, the interaction between the characters, and um, it's got to have story. We have enough already. If you ever hurt my darlings, I will pay someone to find and kill you. Jedi Lions has a lot of history, a, a very deep legacy. There was a lot of uh, passion in the fan base. They have kept this game alive for years just with modding, and they know this game by heart. It's, it's a game that has a huge following 20 plus years from the latest installments, like from the second part, and it's still alive up until this day. So it, it has something unique in it. I think that we are up to the task and we're gonna bring those three main pillars and those really important things to this third installment. So not uh, pointing the fans and getting the right stuff in is very important. So working with Hemama has been a lot of fun because, um, first of all, they're very funny people. They've got really quirky senses of humor. I'm not ready to die yet. I still haven't won the approval of my parents. But they're very serious. And then, of course, there's Buyen, who's one of the lead designers on the game. And. He's a really, really interesting guy because he's he's a Jagged Alliance fan. Um, he knows games well. He is a seasoned game designer. Played Jagged Alliance the series uh, from the inception. I am from that generation, actually. We got those back in the day here in Bulgaria from pirated bootleg yeah. CDs. 
When I found it in the early 2000s, I haven't stopped playing it ever since then. I usually do a playthrough of Jai Lies 2 every year. Yeah. And it's one of my all time favorites. Obstacles in game development are a common thing. It's how you overcome them that's important. And a lot of that comes down to having the right people on the team. People who understand what the game is all about, what the heart and soul of it is. And working with Heyman Ma has been great because they are all huge fans of the series. They get it. Having the creator of Jai Alliance in the series helps us bounce different ideas uh, from him and he will instantly know if that's something that fits into Jai Alliance universe and the style of Jai Alliance. Every uh, person who's played and smashed about the last game well, this, this looks interesting. Don't fuck it up. So, no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> so it really is very ambitious project and something that um, I could look back and say that was one of the things I wish I could have done with Jagged Alliance 2. Well, um, we're getting to do it with Jagged Alliance 3, which is fantastic.
Peggy 12. Ever wanted to rule the world from the comfort of your own home? In King of the Castle, you wear the crown. Make difficult choices that will bring your kingdom into prosperity or chaos. Of course, you won't be ruling alone. Invite three or more friends to join your games as members of your esteemed council. Your friends don't even need to own a copy of the game to play alongside you. All they need is to be able to see your screen and access to a web browser. They can choose their name and pronouns and keep track of their in-game wealth. Once they've joined the game, they will vote on your decisions and provide you with their wisdom and guidance. Or at least, you hope so. More likely, they'll scheme to take the throne for themselves. <laughs> King of the Castle. Wishlist now on Steam. These vampires are getting out of control, and it's all Deadpool's fault. Don't be so harsh on him, Sarah. He's super brave, and super awesome, and super handsome. Wisecracking anti-hero. This is a robbery. Or... Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Whatever. I'm adaptable. Jimmy, my frickin' chuggers. Mortals! The Magna Core Ego is eternal! Blah, blah, blah. Quick! What? can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC! in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. That 
moment for our entire lives. We need you to protect Kamura Village. Entrepreneur. And today I will share with you my recipe for success. First, you have to crush your competitors by any means necessary. Don't be afraid to play dirty. Lie to them, sabotage them, and buy them out. Be ruthless. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> Hello there, I'm in the middle of something right now. What? What do you mean our investors don't want to sabotage the park anymore? They're having too much fun? You say they bought ice cream and bubble tea and want to stay there? Fine! This means war, guys! Time for me to take the stage. How do they make money with all this? Do they really think people will pay for such a ridiculous ride? Why are people buying all this stuff? Wait! Are they selling the new and ultra-trendy Kokuma Latte? How? How is this possible? Their management is perfect! People are loving the new park! I don't get it.
Peggy 7. Across the multiverse, we are known Some call us saviors, others a scourge Across all worlds we share a single name. Planeswalkers.
I'm impressed you've made it this far. Jack Garland, you cannot fathom the setbacks we've suffered. Thanks to your recklessness, your thirst for chaos. Our plans lie in ruins. However, I am not one to lose heart so easily. Are you the one who will be Garland? The Emperor... This place is now under my dominion. Rejoice to kneel before me. I knew you'd start spouting bullshit the second I saw you. You've got the look. To think that it would guide me here, where the powers of the crystal mingle with the chaos of discord. It truly is a moving sight. This world has power worthy indeed. Power worthy of my command! Omega will crush you and wipe all trace of chaos from this world. I'll gladly spawn an army of these monstrosities to stamp out chaos. Just shut up and die. ヘッドショットで一発目まで必死の
Hi everyone, I'm Phil Crifo, Game Director on Chia. Today I'll be taking you on a trip around the world we are building and introducing some of the game's characters, storylines and music, and how everything was inspired by our homeland, the island of New Caledonia. A bit of context, New Caledonia is a small island in the middle of the Pacific. In Chia, we wanted to draw from our experience growing up on the island, and we took inspiration from the country's incredibly rich culture. The world of Chia is entirely fictional though, and you don't have to know about New Caledonia to understand what is going on. We recreated iconic landmarks, wrote characters who speak in local languages, Jeu and French. Composed music heavily inspired by local sonorities. and infused every aspect of the game with local sensibilities, from the food to the animals, from the architecture to the climate. You play as Chia, and you start the game living a peaceful life with your father on the small island of Puma. Your journey starts when a mysterious stranger kidnaps your father and forces you on a soulful quest around this vast and untamed archipelago. is a race through the Golden Gate. Get ready. Forget your streetcar. We're racing hypercars today. Right up the snowy peaks of the Rocky Mountains. Eight cars, one champion, and the drivers you're about to face are the creme de la creme. Actually, we got lucky with the weather in the Bay Area, but I don't think that luck is gonna last long. awaits. Remember, we have everything to win here. And you are gonna love what comes next. Peggy 12.
place. Help! Everyone's getting killed. Dear John, I did it! I've passed basic training and I'm now officially a Fusilier of the 8th Regiment. So far, life as a Fusilier has been rather exciting. Yes, it's true what they say. The job does involve a fair amount of marching. But, oh John, the places we get to march to! The exotic locations we get to visit. Of course, there are challenges aplenty on these expeditions. Luckily, they provide an array of tools, gadgets, and vehicles we can rely upon to push on with our journey. Uh, that is, if we don't perish along the way. You see, dangers lurk in every corner, and careful planning is required to avoid them. There are those, too, who like to break ranks, and while well, I can't say it's a practice I myself approve of, these fellows often do get us out of tough situations. I suppose there's a place for everyone in the regiment, whether they crave adventure or live to serve. There's a place for you too, so I hope you'll join me here. I can't wait to show you more.
everywhere and nowhere. So you want to join me? We'll strike. Don't worry, we can take it. I can hardly wait. Sign up and be a part of my crew in Four. Tuga! Shadows would claim you if you were left to drown in their darkness. Your soul does not belong to it, at least not yet. You are meant for a higher purpose. Accompany me, follow me, protect me, and perhaps I will grant you salvation. Muster your defense. Unleash your powers and defeat our foes. Stand alone or together. Only success will redeem your souls. The hordes of hell come for us. When you have to kill, do it in style. Wanted Dead features over 50 unique finishing moves that took over 100 hours of motion capture and a group of dedicated stuntmen to put together. The takedowns explode in variety and feature situational kills, environmental hazards, and unique takedowns created for specific enemies. Where else in the world would you be able to drive a pickaxe through someone's skull? Even though the finishing moves add to the visual variety of the on-screen mayhem, they serve a tactical purpose too, replenishing lost health. It's not as easy as press X to win, but the players will soon find out that executing takedowns will help them progress through the game and make certain encounters beatable. 
Hannah's ultimate attack, unlocked very early on in the game, will help the player stack up staggered enemies and execute chain finishers that can take down an entire room full of enemies. Here's how finishing strikes work. Each enemy in Wanted Dead has an invisible stamina bar. Melee enemies usually have more stamina than ranged fighters. The stamina bar depletes slowly as enemies are being damaged. Once the stamina hits zero, the enemy enters the staggered animation and can be executed by the player. Last moment parries with the sword or sidearm automatically drain the stamina. This is when you want to go in for the kill. Wanted Dead uses a smart system of triggering finishing animations. First, the algorithm looks for a possibility of an environmental kill or a situational kill using the enemy's own weapon or a basic finishing move that is not tied to any specific condition. The algorithm also ensures that you have a visual variety, constantly rotating the takedowns. The finishing moves are not only visceral and gorgeous looking, they serve a combat purpose as well. Leaving some enemies staggered is a clever technique to clear out the room and replenish lost health. We had a lot of fun making these available to the players, and we hope you will have a lot of fun slicing and dicing through Wanted Dead. Peggy 18. Manfred Rauffer, I'm delighted we can talk again. So, how do you recall your war? My war. Things we saw, things we did. I'm sure I'll never have a worse nightmare in my life. But your story is exceptional from what you've told me before. As I mentioned before, it's not only my story. It's about all of us. Ah, yes. Your companions. Yeah. What is exceptional about this story are these people and the actions we took together. From today's perspective, I see all this as deeds of madmen. You would say we put our lives at stake a hundred times, but the truth is, we were all dead inside. This war took everything from these people and from me. Even our nationalities became questionable. Whose side were we even on? I'd say on the human side. We were like a pack of mongrels in this damn war. for B. 
forbidden power. This chaos, is it all his fault? How about it? Help me forge the ultimate elixir and join me in immortality. We must retake Puyan! <laughs> Jadis. Every bit as strong as the rumors say. Damn it, Father. He's hiding something. Master, have you any idea who the Tals to top the dragon was? We may simply need to track down the source of demonic chi. People will prioritize their own desires. Friendship and the like are not to be trusted in. For what purpose do you wager your life? I will redeem myself by offering up this life! The power to control this world lies in none other than... This resplendent crimson glow! Dynamite, they're down, they're out! That last hit shook my socks off and made me want to order a pepperoni pizza. Ha! You've got to train more if you want to be as good as me. One will have their hand raised and the other humiliated at the gym come Monday morning. I've always had an eye for talent. I know the fighters I manage can take out anyone from the big leagues. Getting you fit to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the heavyweights is not going to be easy. Tuck them in, and let's hit the snack bar. Rest is crucial to keep you in top form, you hear? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and the new welterweight champion of the world! Hey, Rocky, why don't you get in there? Faster than a caffeinated mongoose. I'd rather be abducted by aliens than take a hit like that. You mean I've got a championship fight? A shot at the title? You sure do, kid. There's only one way this can end. Come on, Josie Q. How's that belt feel, champ? 